I want you all to try this out for size. I'd been with, uh, in real estate since 1984. I was with Remax in the 80s. I bought a Realty Executives franchise in the early 90s. I ran that, I had a couple hundred agents. I sold that in 1994 and I went to a small company called Keller Williams. My wife and I were two of the first 10 agents in Dallas, Texas for KW, all right? Then in 1999, while we were selling, they wanted us to be managers, so we became managers and we ran Keller Williams offices and I started opening up Keller Williams offices across the nation. I owned the Northern California region. I was just talking to Ralph over there. I owned six Keller Williams franchises. Now this is a true story and I gotta tell you because it, it might home, hit home with a lot of us that have been around the business a long time. Uh, I was retired. I owned six offices and I owned a region. And I had a lot of money coming in from those companies, right? Does anybody have just enough money that they could maybe retire? I mean, just, just passively coming in, right? I did. And two of my agents from my old office that I had retired at in Austin, Texas said, Gene, could you check out this new company? Now again, being retired, I was kind of bored. Sure. The owner comes in, his name is Glenn Sanford. I met with him for a couple days. It intrigued me. Had 350 agents. This is two and a half years ago. The last office I ran for KW had 641 agents in it in one location. And I would go in as the manager every day and nobody was there for the last two years. I mean, literally, it was like a, a ghost town. So I knew the days of bricks and mortar were gone. So I met Glenn, he says, we have a 3D dimensional world. We go in as avatars, it intrigued me. I knew that bricks and mortar were gone. I researched the company for five months. Now guys, try this out for size. Anybody that's been married over 20 years, me and my wife have been married 22 years. I come in in March of 2015. I said, honey, guess what? She goes, what? And I said, if you knew Netflix existed, would you own a Blockbuster? She goes, no. I said, we own six blockbusters. She goes, what do you mean? I said, I just found Netflix. She goes, you're kidding. I said, so I found it. It's a small little company called EXP Realty. It's got about 400 agents. And I think they're the future of real estate. She goes, you're kidding. Tell me about it. And I said, they got a 3D dimensional. I go into it. And she goes, now, Gene... Now I'm thinking, I've got to sell six offices and a region. I'm one of the 32 regional owners of Keller Williams regions. I owned Northern California and Hawaii, a good region, okay? I own the Carmel office, where Pebble Beach is. I own the Cupertino office, where Apple is. And I own the Palo Alto office, where Stanford is. I was the owner of those. Those were really good offices. I was making good money. And I had to say, well, Susan, we got to sell everything. Now, I don't know about you guys. Do you guys ever have buyer's remorse? So here I am thinking I'm going to sell six offices in a region. I started to have buyer's remorse. I said, what am I thinking? I said, Susan, what am I thinking? I'm going to go to this company with 350, 400 agents. I was running an office with 640 agents. She goes, well, it's the same size Keller Williams was when we joined in 1994. I married the right woman. Now I'm back on. And in six weeks, I sold the six offices and the region for cash. And in May 1st, 2015, I joined EXP Realty. There's about what, 500 agents, Howard? I think right around that time? Yeah. Right around 500 agents. What I'm gonna show you today is the reason I sold everything. It's kind of fun. You guys ready to learn about it? Let's go have some fun. We're the agent owned now. I, don't, I like this picture and I'm going to tell you why. Isn't that a cool picture? You can do business from anywhere. This is the old fashioned real estate model I lived in my whole career. It's tops down. Tell me if you don't work at one of these offices where the broker's on top, the broker brands themselves and owns everything. He tells you, don't worry about it. I'll do the marketing, I'll get the leads and I'll determine the splits. Now here's you guys down here. Just so you know, they call you an independent contractor. But who makes the big money? 
the owner, right? Off the top. Once you get really good at it, what do they do? They start to franchise the brand. Now what do they take off the top every time you do a transaction? They take a franchise fee, all right? By the way, I sold this model, I owned it, I own six of them. Just so you know, if you own Palo Alto, you can only have realtors in Palo Alto. It's limiting. When I hear franchises, I owned a territory. Now watch this. When I met Glenn, just so you know, uh, if you know me, I don't do anything that's not a paradigm shift. Right? I was with KW when KW wasn't cool. Let's ask you a question. How long do you think in Dallas, Fort Worth, pretty big area, seven and a half million people, it took Keller Williams to get to 100 agents. I was agent in the top 10. So we had 10 agents in 1994. How long did it get to be 100? Five years. So it took five years to go from 10 to 100. It's a long process, right? Everybody just thinks it just pops up. But here's what I'm going to tell you. We're the new model. A friend of mine the other day, he says, well, you guys are thinking outside the box. I said, nope, we're a whole new box. Does that help? So really, if you're from another company, don't think, what are we doing like you guys? Because I got news for you. We're a whole new box. And here's why we're new. We're around you. Instead of being focused around the broker, we're focused around the agent. The agent does the marketing. The agent gets all the leads. And the agent, we're going to cap what we take from you. And I'm going to show you that. This is a game changer. When I met Glenn Sanford, this was the game changer for me. Here was the big game changer. How many of you own stock in your corporation that you're in? How many of you, raise your hand if you own stock in your company. These are the EXP agents. <laughs> Just so you know, this is a big difference. Ownership is everything. When we all own the company together, guess what happens? It changes, right? Because we're all partners together and we all help each other out. So stock is a big thing. I'm gonna go over the cloud office. We have 100 employees, 100. I'm gonna talk to you about revenue share and I'm gonna talk to you about conversion and sync. By the way, I worked at Remax, Realty Executives, Keller Williams, they go, well, how do you compare? I said, we don't compare. We're a whole new box. Does that help? So let's look at the new box. You can personally brand yourself however you want. So this gal right here, Elizabeth Riley, she's got the Lux Property Group. She was the number one agent for EXP last year individually. She got the award. She just likes the name. She has color, color do whatever color you want. This is the one I like, because that's my wife. <laughs> that's the one I like. My wife still sells. She likes it. She's a great realtor. If you ever send her a referral, believe me, she will take care of them. Now, here's what I want you to know. It's your brand. It's the first company I've ever been at that says it's really your brand. I don't know what it is in Miami, but I know when I'm in Florida, colors could be different here that are better than you, right? I go to Michigan, they go, no, I don't like those pink. You know, whatever colors you guys want to use, use them. Now, timing is everything. Here's what I told you. I told you my Blockbuster versus Netflix story. Um, why did Netflix go crazy? It wasn't when they did the DVDs, right? It was when what happened? Streaming. streaming video. When streaming video came in, that's the game changer. Guess what? We have the game changer in the industry. It's a 3D dimensional world. We're the only ones using it. It's game changing. I'm going to show you. In other words, we're avatars. I love being an avatar because I'm really good looking as an avatar. It's really <laughs> unbelievable. So when you talk about disruptive technologies, you guys ever watch Shark, Shark Tank? Yes. Isn't that a cool show? Yes. They use this word all the time, disruptive technology. It's a huge word. What it means is streaming video is a disruptive technology. It changed a whole industry, right? Amazon with the internet buying, right? Changed a whole industry. I don't know about you guys, but my wife goes into, I, I know you guys do it. I'm seeing a woman shake her head. We go into the bookstore and what do we do? She goes, this is the book I want. And right where there, she, what's she do? She orders it on Amazon. I said, I feel guilty. Shouldn't we just go up and buy it? She goes, it's four bucks less. It'll be there tomorrow. Is that not the way we're going to shop the rest of our life? 
right? Stitch Fix. How many women in here get their clothes by Stitch Fix? My wife does this stitch. The clothes just come. The clothes just come. Oh my God, she opens up a box, she tries them on. I can't believe they know my size. Here's the thing. Timing is everything in life. The good thing about us that have been in real estate for a long time, I can recognize it. I had the first cell phone at my Remax in 1986. How big was it? <laughs> it was $1,000 a month. It cost me $3,500. My Remax buddy said it would never work. <laughs> True story. That'll never work. I was tired of putting quarters in at the Dairy Queen. You know? So here's my thing. When a disruptive technology comes around, one that displaces another, you got to look at it. When I met Glenn and he showed me this, I went, disruptive technology. I've watched Shark Tank enough. This is going to work. Okay? Everybody else is bricks and mortar based. Everybody that I know of. We have no bricks and mortar. We're in 43 states and three provinces in Canada with no rent, no furniture, no phone systems, no Wi-Fi. Do you think we're saving any money? Guys, I've ran two of the largest Keller Williams offices ever. I just tell you, this is breaking. If all of these people could get rid of all those expenses, do you think they would? Yes. yes. They don't have the technology. We got it. It's called the cloud. Okay? So these are the four disruptors I'm going to talk about. What's the cloud office? Here's what it is. When I first saw it, I didn't understand. We go in as avatars. Did you guys ever see that movie? Isn't that cool? The coolest thing is you go in, you can do business from anywhere at any time. We have over 100 employees in there as avatars. So here's what it looks like. When you're doing business with the cloud, we have a campus. There's my wife. She's standing there looking at the campus. We have conference rooms, meeting rooms. We have training. Your name's above your head and you go in as an avatar. Now here's what's kind of cool. You walk in as an avatar. That's my son-in-law, Sean. Here's, a, here's all the training for the day. You know, just so you know, the little kids love it. We have a soccer field. You can go in there and play soccer. Now here's the coolest thing about avatars. It becomes you. This is where we have our Texas meetings. And we now are so big in Texas, we have over 1,200 agents in Texas in two years. 1,200 agents. And we meet every two weeks in the cloud, in the auditorium. And what's kind of cool, you know, we just meet. We have two agents in Texas. I started having meetings every Tuesday. We have five agents in Texas. I still have the meetings every Tuesday. So all of a sudden, people, people will come to a meeting if they don't have to get dressed. So my wife's not dressed. I know it's 9 o'clock in the morning. We do it between 9 and 9.30. No makeup, no nothing. Didn't have to drive a car. We're saving the planet, right? More attendance at these meetings than any other meeting you'll ever attend. Nothing replaces this in life. <clears throat> Avatars number two. Univers University of Michigan did a study. The second best way to communicate is not by email. It's not by texting. It's by avatar. If any of your kids play video games, right? You know, I have a son that plays video games with people all over the world. Some of you probably play video games with people all over the world. It's a different way to communicate, all right? So when everybody goes, what's your office looks like? I go, here you go. Here's what it looks like. Go into any room. We have an accounting room. If you, want to, if you have a problem on one of your closings, you go into the accounting room and talk to the accountants. You have a problem with your tech, you go into the tech room, talk to the tech. It's like the University of uh, Texas, that's what I tell people. It's kind of going to campus. You go all around. So that's what it is. A lot of people go, what do you do for training? I said, look it, we have over 25 hours of live training every week. By the way, the class that I taught this morning, 101 Ways to Lead Generate, they've recorded me doing it in the cloud. I have people call me all the time, go, Gene, I've just listened to it over and over again. So we record everything. We have a lot of sales training. Uh, you know, guys, most of the people that are attracted to EXP right now, Mitch, are the business people, are people that are doing this for a living. We got the number one team in Arizona, a Remax team called the Williams team, Jeff and Marcy. They only do about 700 homes a year. Are they still Remax team? No, they're with us now. 
she, she, she asked a question. She said, are they still with Remax? I said, no, they just were with Remax. They were with Remax for 12 years. He found out about us. He moved in one week. Now, I've been attracting agents all my life from other companies. I've never had somebody that does 700 units a year and number one in the whole state move in a week. You know what he did? He went, Netflix. This is going to work. You guys ever read the book, Blink? Good book. It's Malcolm Gladwell's book on Blink, which is the emotional side of you, the innate side that you go, it's going to work. There's a blink when you see something that you feel like it's going to work or not. When I saw this model two and a half years ago, I had a blink when I met Glenn. This is Netflix. And the blink is right because we're taking off like crazy. Why would all these teams be joining us? Number one in Arizona, number one, the, the number one Louisiana agent, number 51 in the nation, uh, Darren James, top international luxury agent in South Texas, Miguel Herrera. Last month he closed 28 million. He has 16 of the 22 builders he's list that are in the luxury market. Um, and I'm just giving you a few of them. Brent Gove, by the way, Brent, if you didn't know him, he was top five for Remax. Seven years ago, he joined KW. He's number five in the world. We got him in a week. It's really weird. The big teams look at it and go, Netflix, I don't want to miss it. I don't want to miss it. I want to be there. I, you mean I can have stock early? Okay. Um, these are just a few of the groups. Hey, anybody have Conversion or Commissions, Inc.? These are lead generation tools. A lot of people do Boomtown. A lot of people do a lot of other. There's like three or four really good lead generations tools. So if you don't have one at your company, I'm telling you, our founder, Glenn Sanford, really wants, we wanted to provide something that you have something for lead generation. It's either Conversion or Commissions Inc. You could use either one. I started with Conversion. Com Commissions Inc. just came on six months ago. It would cost you $999 startup and $6,000 a year, about $500 a month. It's free with us, with the $50 a month tech fee. It's free. So I've literally got to this slide, and agents have stopped me and said, excuse me? <laughs> and they've joined, because they're either using Conversion or Commissions Inc. at their other company, and they're paying thousands of dollars. What does it look like? A website hooked to IDX with a CRM. You could pay per click if you want. Kind of looks like a Zillow site. Success stories, Jeff and Amanda Whitespear. Jeff and Amanda joined us uh, in Houston not, not a year ago. I think it was in August or September a year ago. And he was using some type of service that cost him about 2000 a month. They do about 175 transactions a year. He says, Gene, we scrapped that product. We started doing it in conversion. We replaced all the leads we were getting before or more. He says, it's saving me 24 grand a year. And he's got a little three-year-old and a one-year-old. He's got two little kiddos. It's kind of neat. So it's a big savings. Now, company stock. This is what got me excited. I want anybody to raise their hand if they were in Microsoft in 1978. Anybody get Dell in 1983? Was anybody with Michael Dell in the garage at University of Texas? He was in his parents' garage and he invented Dell. Anybody? I'm still searching for someone. If we're lucky enough to be somewhere in the beginning, we got to be like it. When I met Glenn two and a half years ago, anybody want to guess the stock price? Two and a half years ago, the stock price at EXPI was 15 cents a share. 15 cents a share. It's a penny stock. Anybody want to look it up right now? How much? $3.65 a share in two and a half years. I want to be somewhere in the beginning. So here's how you guys get shares. On your first transaction every year, it's EXPI. You're awarded 75 shares. Boom. First closing, 75 shares. All of our people have shares. I love it. Okay? <clears throat> This is the one that agents really, really like. You can be an agent stock purchase program where you can take 5% of your commissions. It's up to you. We don't require you to. You can take 5% of your commissions every single month and buy stock at a 20% discount. You've got to be kidding me. I've had people doing this two years. As the stock's been going up, Mitch, guess what? 
I have people tell me all the time, Gene, I've put in like $14,000, it's now worth $70,000. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay? You can, when you refer an agent, and we, we, we call it a referral program, when you refer an agent and they name you as their sponsor, you get 175 shares. Thank you very much. When you cap, you're awarded 175 shares. What is capping? Let me tell you real quick, if you don't know, it's 80-20. We have no franchise fee, no royalty fee. We split everything 80-20 until the 20% to EXP equals $16,000. That's a cap, you go to 100%. Your shares are vested in three years. EXPI is the corporation's name. We're on the over-the-counter exchange, which is the same one that Fannie Mae's on, Freddie Mac's on. What's the Brown Company, what's that one? Yes. UPS, okay. <laughs> You can buy the shares, it's publicly traded. I always say that. I just did this two weeks ago in Austin, Texas, and a mortgage guy outside the room bought shares. He's not with EXP, but he, he says, Gene, I bought shares immediately. And I think we were at about 3.30 back then. He goes, this is really exciting. What's the ICON agent program? Once you pay in and you cap, and you pay the 16,000, here's what's gonna happen. You're going to Start just at that time, have a $250 transaction fee for the next 20 transactions. So 250 times 20 is what? $5,000. So the icon agent would pay in another $5,000. Guess what happens on the 20th? You're an icon and we award you $16,000 in stock. Now you know why all those top people are coming? Because they go, well shoot, I do. I do that in a month. I do that in two weeks, some of them, right? They're doing so many units. So they pay us basically 16 plus another five for 21, and then they get $16,000 in stock. Um, let me give you an example. On the 21st transaction, just to complete that, we only do that 250 for 20 transactions. On the 21st, it goes to 75. We do have to have a transaction fee because we're gonna have to make some money because we gotta pay some of the staff, okay? Now let me give you an example, uh, Sherry Elliott. Love putting Sherry on this video and thank you very much uh, for taping this. Sherry Elliott, uh, she's been with us 16 months. She does 200 units a year in Dallas, Texas. And so she basically became an icon immediately. Well, the stock a year ago was not $3.65, was it? It was like a buck 15. So she goes, Gene, make sure you tell them. I got $16,000 worth of stock a year ago it's now worth almost three times what it was. Any questions on the stock? The question was, if you leave, do you have to sell the stock? No, no you don't. Now what I will tell you to do, you're vested in three years. So if you're getting free shares, like for the 175, 175, 75, since we're giving you shares, for, you can't sell those shares for three years right? They're just in there, and then after three years, you could sell them. The 5%, this program, after six months for, per the SEC, after six months, guess what? You could cash them, right? It's about five or six months, isn't it? You can cash those right away. You can cash them right away. I want to explain something to you. We all own common shares. It's all common shares. There's no preferred shares. It's a dividend stock. What I mean by a dividend stock is when we start paying dividends, guess what? You know, if we pay out 10 cents a share or five cents or whatever it is, you'll be getting stuff. So a lot of people go, I can't wait until the stock price goes up. And I say, I don't care what the stock price goes up because it's a dividend stock and I'm waiting to get what? Dividends. Realtors do two things really well. You guys are experts at this. What are you guys experts at? Not paying your taxes and not saving money. You guys are pros. You guys are pros, right? I is one. Guys, I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission to create equity for your family. I'm on a mission. You don't know Susan and I from Adam. That's who we are. We're on a mission to help you. And let me give you some examples. If you even just did the 5%, I could change your life. I'm telling you, I have agents that go, Gene, I've been here two years, I cannot believe. In fact, one gal goes, Gene, she goes, my husband comes home over every night and goes, how's our stock doing? How's our stock doing? He, he never even cared about my real estate business for 13 years. Now he's going, how's the stock doing? What, what are we doing? Because again, 
you're at Dell in the beginning. You're in the garage. This room right here is bigger than Michael Dell's garage. You're in it. You got to be thankful whoever invited you here today because this is very, very special to be here. So stock to me is the game changer for me because we're all partners now. Everybody thinks different at a real estate company when you're partners. Okay? Here's the, I get this question and nobody's asked it yet, but you're giving all the stock away. You know, aren't you going to dilute the stock? And I said, no, we have a plan for this. This is our agent count. And right now we're at about 4,000. How much is it, Howard? 4,400, 4,400 agents. We're between 4,000 and 6,000. So there's the 75, 175, and 175. When we go over 6,000 agents, it's going to go to 50, 125, 125. And eventually, when we're over 16,000 agents, it'll be 25, 50, and 50. We still want to reward you all, but when we get to 16,000 agents with no rent, no phone systems, no furniture payments, by the way, we have no debt. Zero debt, check our finances. Zero long-term, zero short-term debt. So we start making a lot of money. Do you think the stock box is gonna be, what's the stock price gonna be? I don't know, I can't tell you, but I think it's gonna be pretty good because we don't have those expenses. Does that help? Okay, here's the biggie, revenue share. We're this one over here. Here's what revenue share is. How much does an agent pay in? I mentioned it earlier. How much is it? That's the most you can pay in every year. That's the most. That's the cap. In other words, once you pay in the 16000 you go to 100% the rest of that year. Then when you come back to your anniversary year, you'll start paying a cap again, right? So the most an agent can pay in is 16000 Here's what I want to share with you. We're growing this company through agents, not owners. So in other words, if I was selling it in my old days, when I was with Realty Executives or Keller Williams, I would have said, I've got a franchise to sell you. I sold franchises for a living. I was looking for Mitch. I'm really not looking for Mitch anymore. I'm looking for agents. Because agents are going to attract what? Other agents. And that's how we're growing this company so fast. So uh, Lisa, let me give an example. Let's say I sponsor you, okay? And you join the company and you cap. The most money I will make on you in a year, by the way, like a referral fee, I call it a referral fee, of the 16,000, we're gonna give 2,800 to me as a thank you. 2,800, 2,800. It's paid out monthly as you close property, right? So the two, I just like to give the total number, the most you could make on a capper, right? I don't do percentages, we got the percentages over here, but I like to do numbers because people go, you mean I can get $2,800 every year you cap? Yes. The first year, the second year, the third year, you're a capper. Once you go over 2.6 million with us, really it'd be about 3 million in this market because you're at 2.5%, right? Okay? Everybody that does over 3 million, they're a capper. Now, Lisa, I sponsor you, right? You sponsor Carol, right? Over here. You bring in Carol. I get 2,800 from you, and guess how much I get from Carol when she caps? More. Lisa screamed more. This is when Glenn Sanford became a genius to me. Literally when he showed me this, I went, why are you paying more on the second level than the first? He goes, Gene, I want it to be the very, very best referral program ever invented in the business. I want agents to refer agents. And he said something that didn't sink in. And I tell David this all the time. It didn't sink into me in the beginning. He goes, I want to organically grow through agents. He was correct. Agents share things better than owners ever did. I'm they really do. In other words, if we're the first real estate company nationally to grow through agents, not franchise sales. Okay? So I sponsor you. Lisa, I don't even know Carol. But Carol's sister is an agent in Illinois for Century 21 in Chicago. She joins. Right? So now you're getting 3,200 from what? Carol's sister, if she caps, and I'm getting 2,000. Is this not cool? Are you kind of getting it? It goes seven levels. Let me give you an example. How can you create 3,000 a month in residuals? On the first level, you get six cappers. 
Now, you don't have to have cappers. I always say this in my presentation. Because a lot of people go, well, do they have to cap? I go, no, no, no. I'm just giving you the most you'll ever make. So if you get six cappers on the first level times 2,800 is 16,800. The reason I use six is why? That pays for your cap. If you did nothing but get six people, three this year and three next year, you're 16,800 every year. In other words, go get six and you make more money here. Those six will bring six. You know why? It's life. You can't stop it, just so you know. That's the minimum. I've been doing this forever. Actually, the six will bring more than that, but I'm very conservative. If they bring six cappers times 32, that's 36,000 a year, 3,000 a month. Can somebody do this with a calculator? How much money can you make in a savings account? What's the interest rate in Florida in a savings account? 1%? It's 1%. I looked it up before I came. So take 36,000 divided by 0.01. Does anybody know what it is? It's 3.6 million. It's 3.6 million. You've got a choice as an agent. You can either save 3.6 million or go refer six agents. It's your choice. It's okay with me. You know, I tell agents all the time, they go, well, but I don't know how to refer. I don't know how to attract people. I said, I got, I got news for you. This is August, let's say September next month. Is it easier next month to get two listings get two buyers under contract, or text two agents? What's going to be the easiest activity? Text two agents. It's not hard. You've got to scrape about two minutes out. So what I'm going to say is every other real estate company I've ever been at, all they've talked about is making more money in sales. Now we're talking about getting residuals. Why not? It's just another bucket. It's not just a bucket. It's a big bucket. 3000 a month. Does that change somebody's life? Raise your hand if 3,000 a month would change your life. Yeah. Come on, let me read you a text. Philip Baird sent me this yesterday. He got, by the way, I'm gonna be real with you. Philip uh, does about two and a half million a year. He has two part-time jobs. He's got a 14 year old kid trying to put him through. He's working, he's doing Uber. He's doing Uber and one other part-time job, selling real estate. I don't know if this sounds familiar to any of you guys, but he kind of struggles. He texted me, Gene, just paid my mortgage and my car payment with my rev share. You've changed my life. He got a check for $2,000. That's why I did this. It's exciting to me. <clears throat> Philip Baird. My buddy. Guys, you don't have to do it at a big level. If you just do this, by the way, are there more than two levels? There's seven. I just do this because I'm very, very conservative. Plus, you'd have 1,050 in shares, right? Hey, let's do this one. 10 who get 10. This is how I got my daughter, Nicole. I said, honey, why don't we do a three year plan? You guys have a three year plan? Are you guys going to plan in lead generation? Say yes. You've got plans and lead generation. Now we got a plan for passive income. I'm gonna go get three people a year the next three years. Basically, I'm gonna get 10 people. I said, can you do that? She goes, yes, I can. I said, I want you to go get 10 cappers in three years, and I want you to teach those 10 cappers to do what? Go get their 10. I said, that's all I want you to do. While you're selling real estate, while you're giving birth to the fifth grandchild, while you're doing everything, by the way, she's into it, right? Guess what? She goes, you're kidding. I said, if those 10 get 10, that's only $348,000 a year. She looks at me, this true story, two years ago. She goes, well, they all won't be cappers. And I said, so let's make them all half cappers. She goes, well, that's $175,000 a year, $15,000 a month. She looks at me just like Wolf on Wall Street. She goes, I quit my job, I come work for you. <laughs> Do you guys remember that scene in Wolf on Wall Street? I, I quit my job, I come work for you. She literally said that to me. She was running for 12 years a national company in tanning salons. She quit her job, 
She's making about four to 5,000 a month right now in rev share. She's pregnant, about ready to give birth. What a, what a gift. By the way, a year and a half ago, she took $20,000 from her 401k and bought, bought stock at about 60 cents a share. Have we changed her life? Guys, this is real. You're in on the beginning. We're in the garage. We're in Michael Dell's garage. Okay, now here's the cool thing. Here's what's gonna happen in real life. 10 don't get 10. I'm just telling you this. One of the 10 goes gets 40. Another one of the 10 gets 40, and another one gets 20 for, t for 100. And the other seven don't do anything. They stay with us, they love our stock, they do the 5%, they don't go anywhere. I'm trying to give you real life. Three of the 10 that you attract go crazy, okay? But this is actually what will happen eventually, won't it, Dave? Now, here's the cool thing. These levels will fill in. Um, I only do two examples. We have a revenue share calculator. You can play with the numbers. You can do 40, 40, 40, 40, 40. It's really fun. I, 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 when I first saw this, I said, you guys got to calculate. I can just, I can guess. I can guess where it's going to be 27 months. You know, I can guess what it's going to be five years from now. And it was fun. So you can play with the numbers. Here's what I'm gonna ask you. Who else is at a company that's given you passive income opportunities? It's a game changer. We're just giving you the opportunity. Everybody has the same opportunity, right? So you either come with us or you go back to your other company and say, I want stock and I want rev share. And they're gonna be going, oh my God, you've talked to EXP. <laughs> The question was, why don't you share with me what you've done, Gene, since you've been here? I started in uh, Texas in, in Austin. Again, I'm an agent. I didn't buy anything. They didn't hire me. I don't have a, you know, I'm like you guys. I'm every single one of you. And I said, well, shoot, I'll just start talking to people. Within a year, I started in May. So my first 12 months, I had 15 people I had attracted in 12 months to my first level and I had a total of 183. Can you guys write that down? 15. So 15 on my first and a total of 183. Guess what it went to in the next 12 months? Now I'll tell you this, I went 15 to 22. So I got worse. You know, in other words, I only attracted seven more people in 12 months. So I went 15 to 22. So now I'm, I've been the company 24 months. And instead of 183, guess how many people? I heard Dave say 1,000. 1,500? 1,382. What? In my seven, in my seven levels. So I only have 22 in my first, but I have another 1,000 in my 1,200 and some, you know, 1,300. If you would have told me that, I would have said, you're kooky. Guys, I'm a bean counter, man. I am conservative. I'm naturally conservative. If I could go from 183 and double, I'm excited in a year. But guess what happened? Seven levels. I got a really good person on my third level. They go crazy. I got a pers good person on my fourth level. They go crazy. And it just went, it went bonkers on me. Now, that was, uh, I've only been at the company 28 months. Now it's four months later. Four months later, I have 1,300. Guess how much I'll have at the end of this month? It's gonna be about 2,100. Is that not bonkers to you? Dave likes it, Dave's smiling. The last two months I've added 229 people and 219 people, I haven't added anybody to my first level. Yeah, the question is, is, do you have to have a license? The answer is yes. You have to have a real estate license. We, uh, per the SEC, when we pay out part of the 20%, it has to be like a referral fee. As you know, we can't pay referral fees to non-licensed people, you right? You have to have an active license. You have to have an active license, correct. Now, you said, what if it's a title person that has an active license? We, it just has to be somebody with an active license. The question was, do you have to have a broker in every state? It's, here's the answer to that question. 
we have brokers in every state. We have brokers in 43 states. By the end of the year, we'll be in 46 states. We have brokers in every state. So if you want to have somebody in another state, just let us know. If they're in an area that we're already in, we're in over 200 MLSs. I know that. You know, but, but if they're in an MLS that we're not in yet, if we've got good agents, we'll just go into that MLS. The question was, who reviews the contracts? The answer is our broker. In that state. In that state. So I have to go through them, and, and they pay you because they pay for EXP. Right. Mm -hmm. EXP is doing all the accounting at a national level. We're doing all the brokerage on the local level. See, in Texas right now, guys, it's expanded like a crazy. I mean, it took us a year in Texas to get to 200 agents. Within the, a year, we went from 200 to 1,000. Now we're at 1,200. And, and what's funny is we're in 16 MLSs and 24 boards because I didn't have to sell franchises. Agents said, boy, I know somebody in Corpus Christi. I said, really, are they good? Yeah, they're really good. Well, let's go to Corpus Christi. Let's join the board. That's how easy it was. We can expand all over Florida, guys, but we want to go with good agents. And I want to share this with you. Write this down, quality over quantity. Quality over quantity. This is not, oh, just get licenses. Guys, we're going for quality. You saw the people were, were coming. I mean, we're, we're getting top, top people. I just got a call today, this morning before we started, five minutes, I just talked to the gentleman. He does 100 units a year in McLean, Virginia. Anybody know where McLean, Virginia is? That's where the Kennedys lived. That's right below the Potomac. That's where everybody in DC lives. There isn't a doggone shed for under a million in McLean, Virginia, right? The average sales price has got to be two to three million. He sells 100 units a year in McLean, Virginia. He's telling his manager today. His team is fired up to come over to Netflix. It's called EXP Realty. I talked to the guy two weeks ago. I've never met him. Everything's done by phone. The more you scope us out and more you go to our websites and look at it and look at it and look at it, you're going to be like me. Here's the coolest thing about it, about the rev share. It's real. I'm getting texts now from people that go, thank you for sharing this with me a year ago. I'm making 4000 a month. It's changed my life. It doesn't have to be a lot of money, right? I don't want to share with you my numbers because you'll go, oh, geez, you just... You know, it's okay. There's 4,400 agents in the whole country, and you have 2,200 of them. Yes, you? yes. I have about almost half the company in my seven levels. Okay. Did I make a good decision? <laughs> but here, let me explain something to you. That could be Mitch, and it could be you. It could be anybody in here. Seriously, because a lot of people go, "Oh no, you just got in early." I go, "No, no, no, no. I have people underneath me that are going to have more than I am." It's real. But here's one thing I did. I took a risk. We're still so early. It's 4,400 agents, right? Two million agents in the United States. Here's the key. I'm going to do a fact for you, bitch, so you've got it on tape. I've got all the numbers. This is Bean Counter. I have all the numbers from Remax from 1973. I have all the Keller Williams numbers from 1983. I got them all. Keller Williams never grew by more than 52% in a year, ever. We're growing at 180%, two years in a row. What's the onboarding cost during the rate? Onboarding cost, I'll show you in just a second. The question was, what's the onboarding? I'll get right to that. But what I'm saying, here's, the, here's what I had to wrap myself on around. This is what I had to wrap myself on around. This isn't the old model. This isn't the old box. Wait, we're going to grow by 52% a year. No! It's not that box. Netflix bankrupted Blockbuster how soon? In a couple of years. Uber bankrupted Yellow Cab two years. When you have a new technology, guess what happens? Massive growth. I told Dave, I said, I can't believe we're growing at 180% a year, two years in a row. And then I come back and I go, is it going to continue? Yes, we got a new model. Because we're working through the agents, not owners. And here's what's exciting to me. 
run out 180% on 4,400 agents three years in a row. Just write that on the calculator. In three years, we'll be over 100,000 agents. I believe it now. You know, I didn't know in the beginning, but now I'm going, wait, how did we get the number one agent in Arizona? How did we get the number? They're coming to us? I think we're going to do it with quality over quantity. I think our other, just so you know, in Texas, of the 1,200 agents, I know those numbers. 80% of them are almost all cappers. Is that a good company or what, Mitch? Tell me. We're producing real estate, right? We're going after cappers because you go after cappers because why? The rev share is more, right? It's, it's, they'll stay. When the market dips, cappers do what? They don't leave. Okay, so go after good agents. Great, great questions. I will share these numbers with you. Brent, there's Brent Gove, Brent. This is two months. He joined us last November. In two months, he had 24 on his first, 53 on his second, 29. He had 121 people. That's in two months. He goes, Gene, he's still selling real estate. He says, every Friday, I just get on the phone and start texting people. Now, guess how many people he has now? He has 40 on his first and over 500. He's been with us nine months. See, I gave you my numbers. It took me a year to get to 183. The dudes are killing me. They're doing it much better than I did because our systems are better and now we're, we're going. Here's what I'm going to tell you. Sheila, here's what I want you to understand. Sheila went to a seminar that Brent was talking, uh, talking at. He was up on stage. She calls him afterwards and says, I want you to check out our new model. Brent goes, okay. He joins us. So all of Brent's people are underneath what? Her. Her those 24 are under there. Those 53 are underneath there. You see what I'm getting at? Do you think Sheila likes Brent? <laughs> Guess what? Brent did a talk. I was at a talk with him, um, and he stood up in front of every, in Tucson the other day. He started to cry when he mentioned Sheila. He says, my sponsor is awesome. If she hadn't have called me, and tears start, tears out. He goes, she's special. She's thanking him for doing what? Making the phone call. Don't be scared. By the way, Sheila does nowhere near the business Brent does. It's a big myth. I got to tell you about Wilco. Wilco is a soccer coach. He coaches soccer. If you coach soccer for 16 years, he, he's gone every night. He's gone every weekend to tournaments. And Wilco calls me two months ago, sends me a picture of him and his wife and his, his two boys eating dinner. He says, Gene, I gave up being a soccer coach. I'm making $7,000 a month in rev share. I can quit. This is the first meal I've had with my kids. Changing lives. By the way, last month, he made $20,000. The month before, $16,000. He's changing people's lives. The coolest thing is, all right, and my buddies, Scott and Tracy Lewis from San Antonio, I love them to death. Um, these guys have over 600 people now. He just told me, he showed me his numbers. He made uh, 45,000 last month in rev share. In a month. In a month. <clears throat> that, by the way, a year and a half ago, they made the leap. They complained to me the first four months. I would tell you, Gene, this is hard. I said, of course it's hard. We're starting. And they boom, boom, boom. And after about five months, they started making 5,000 a month, then 10,000 a month. Now it's 50,000. They don't complain anymore. <laughs> Guess what they do? They go expand EXP. They spent three weeks in Canada. You probably saw them on Facebook. They're, they're spreading the word. We're not paying that. EXP is not, they're not, they're, they're not employees. They're free agent. And well, guess what they're doing? They got a lead up in Canada, they go up there. Then they spent a week in Detroit. We're growing through agents, it's awesome. Does that help you? Now mine, I, I will tell you, uh, in the last three months, the last three months, because I do it by quarter, the last three months I've made $200,000 in rev share. That's it. That's it. <laughs> by the way, I don't sell real estate. I haven't sold real estate in 18 years. So, I'm making, so I told Susan, I said, that's $200,000 a quarter. Times four is? Enough. enough. <laughs> I love you. She says, enough. 
Can you live on 800,000 passive? It's the beginning. And I only tell you those numbers because they're real and I don't want to, I just want to inspire you. Please don't take it, you know, I, you know, and Rob and I do that all the time. We want to tell the numbers because Rob and I sit around and go, we can't believe it, right? But when you, when you share money off the top, it's awesome. It's real. All the other companies share money off the top and who do they give it to? It's called a franchise fee and they give it to the owners. And we take money off the top, off the 20% and give it to who? The agents that help us grow the company. I like this model. Like I, I could go back to my first slide when I said it's all about the agent. It's all about the agent here. At the other companies, they can say it's all about the agent, but who makes the majority of the money? The broker. Mitch. How many did you personally sign up? What's that? How many have you personally signed up? Personally signed up, I've signed up 27. 27, wow. 27 personals and I have over 2,000. I, I think I signed up two more this month. That might be 29. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm in a slump. So I've been here 28 months. I've, I've averaged one a month. I don't know about you guys. Are you going to live another 28 months? Please say yes. If you're going to live another 28 months, you have a choice. Go have fun with us. By the way, I'm having fun. My byline, when you text me, you'll see. Having fun again. I'm having fun. This is too much fun. Got news for you. I'm done, but you know, it's not a drudgery. Here's, here's the questions you were asking, and thank you for asking. It's a $99 startup fee. For that $99 startup fee, you get 1,000 cards, folders, lead generation, all this stuff. In, in the $99 is your first $50 a month technology fee. So it's really $49 to start up. $50 monthly technology package. It includes, of course, the cloud office and the use of conversion or sync. You know, it's really funny. When I say to people, how much does it cost? It's 50 bucks a month. They go, excuse me? That's all? On your first closing every year, I get a lot of people that go, how do you pay for all the training? Because we have tons of training. I said, once a, well, on your first closing, we take out $420. You know, all the other training's free. But you're going to be pay $420 out of your first closing for a university fee, and that pays for Brad Anderson and all the classes. Commission split, 80-20. Right? No royalty. Circle that puppy. Now, I did 2.66 million, but in my, my area, we do 3%. I'm sorry about the two and a half. Sorry about that, guys. No, but, it's not your fault. But um, <laughs> if you have a team, we have lots of teams coming. The team members pay a half a cap. That's really good. And they pay it. So if they pay in $8,000, your team members, you're going to make $1,400 on every single one of them just in rev share. Instead of 28, right? It's half of the 2,800. Per transaction fees. The question was asked, how do brokers? In Texas right now, we have three brokers. We have three people checking all the contracts. When we get bigger and bigger in Florida, we'll have more than one person, right? We, fast, right? fast, boom. It's on sky slope. It's boom, boom. It's just automatic. We're, we've been, you know, what's funny is I always tell people, it's just as, you know, it's no different than what you have now if, you've, if you're functioning well. But that $25 broker review per contract is how we pay them, okay? We take out $30 E&O, capped at a 500 per year. That's a biggie. That's a biggie. In a lot of my areas, they pay $85, $75 E&O fees on every transaction. And some of my top agents go, Gene, I do 100 transactions a year. That's going to save me tons of money. Um, I mentioned the 250 on the first 20 after you cap and the $75 transaction fee. And that's basically it. So here's the key. We'll all help each other because guess what? The more we help each other and we more that we all help grow, the company's growing at 180%. How's the, we all own stock. It's brilliant. Back with your check and have to go. The question was, how do I get paid? We do it electronically. We get paid at the table, you get paid here on the table. You get your check at, at closing, okay? That was a good, great question. Please contact your sponsor after this and make sure to tell them thank you that you got to see Gene, Gene, the real estate machine, the real estate doctor, the legend, Gino, the legend. And um, I will tell you this, and I'll end with this. Um, I really do think that every once in a while you get lucky. Uh, my brother, Home Depot, who would have known? 
Who would have known? I mean, he could have worked at any other place, right? But he works at Home Depot, and all of a sudden, he's worth millions. You, you just get lucky to be in the right place at the right time. To me, when I met Mitch, even, I could tell he was looking for places for his agents to be able to retire or to have an exit strategy. And that concerned him more than him making money. I liked that when I met him. So um, it's not a fluke that I'm here today. It, it's, to me, it's always a God thing. I mean, I, I love Mother Teresa's, all her, uh, all her prayers. If you guys have ever seen a lot of Mother Teresa prayers, you know, I love that one where it goes in, be kind to everybody, right? Some people might take advantage of you, you know, uh, and all that kind of stuff. And at the end, it says what? Because it's not between you and them anyway, right? I mean, I could redo the whole quote, but I don't want to get religious on you. But my big thing is this. There's a reason I'm here today. There's a reason I'm here. I don't know why, but I'm hoping it's to touch your lives a little bit, have some fun, and enjoy real estate. And let's go change the world. Why do you want to stay somewhere else and not change the world? Okay? Thank you guys very much. Appreciate you.